inside a helicopter as it crashes in New Mexico. Video of that helicopter crash is spreading across the internet, even on network TV. Crew members working on a new reality TV show held on and hoped for the best, capturing what happened as the Earth rushed toward them on not one, but three cameras. News 13's Cole Miller's in the newsplex with the story and the amazing video. Cole? The footage of the small chopper's crash has gone viral. It looks and sounds bad, and it is, but somehow everyone inside would walk away. We got up in the air. Um, everything was, was just perfect for 30 or 40 minutes. And then in a matter of seconds, it was anything but perfect. A helicopter carrying four people slamming into the ground near Clayton, August 24th. My whole goal is to get everybody out of the helicopter as soon as possible. That's the voice of Jaron Detty, an Ohio outdoorsman. Traveling with TV host Becky Lou Laycock of Texas, a cameraman and the pilot, the group was filming a hunting trip for a new TV show. You can hear the cameraman moaning. Just relax, take a deep breath. With Daddy trying to calm him, Becky Lou is also clearly in pain. My hand, my hand! What, well, babe? My hand! This door has to come up. After watching this now viral video, it's amazing no one was seriously hurt. I mean, as far as for the severity of, of the situation, I mean, we were all beyond lucky to uh, walk out and, and have no more injuries than what we did. Becky Lou had some lacerations and a broken knuckle. The three men on board suffered bruised and broken ribs. Daddy says getting help was tough. Cell service was spotty and hard to come by. The Union County Sheriff's Office responded and the crew was treated in Clayton. They were all great. I mean, they, for as, I guess, rural of an area that it is, they were, I mean, very quick to respond. Daddy's first trip to the land of enchantment may have been a rough one, but it won't be his last one. I would say this will probably be a, um, an annual event, less the helicopter crash, hopefully. The FAA is investigating the crash along with the Union County Sheriff's Department. A local pilot who flies the same kind of helicopter tells us it appears the pilot was flying too low and too slow and that there were too many people on board. Dick, back to you. Okay, Cole, this past weekend, three people riding in the same type of helicopter were not so lucky. They all died after they struck a power line and crashed near Truth or